Mr. Shepard may feel that way, but I still think it's better for you to come. It's not good for your classmates if every one of us isn't there. Plus, if you don't come, we can't do the play. Anyway, go take a look at the set for now. That was our homeroom teacher, Mr. Shepard. I heard his hair is all puffed out like that because he keeps on messing up his experiments. Go and at least look at the set for the play, okay? The set for the play is in the gym. I believe the gym is this way. Isn't there a, uh, yeah, there's a wave hole right there. But who designed this? It looks so off. Well, I'm here. A blue outfit with a stripe and a helmet. And... A truck. A smashed up mailbox? What the heck is this play about? You Didn't we tell you already? It's the Prez's idea. She made it all. This is going to go down in history. You're going to be so surprised when you hear. Okay, listen up. I'm only going to tell you this once. The title of this play is Mega Man vs. the Cow Man. I hate it. Mega Man? Oh, you know of Mega Man? No, not really. Mega Man is this mysterious guy. Whenever we're in a jam, he shows up, beats up the bad monster, and vanishes. He's my role model. I'll never forget his heroic deeds. Mega Man has saved me twice now from harm. The first time was the incident with the truck, and then again at Amakin. He appears in a flash of light, just like a shooting star. Oh, Mega Man, wherefore art thou, Mega Man? You remember? Huh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Anyway, this play is based on the truck incident. Me, the lead actress, has been abducted by the mad menacing cow man. And that's when Mega Man comes to save the fair maiden. You see, it's a very moving story. The story itself is very popular, but the student body thinks that Mega Man is just a character. Yeah, I kind of think so too. Aha, uh ha -huh. ha uh -huh. Zack, don't tell me you think he's fake too. Mega Man saved you too, you know. But I don't remember what happened. Not the truck incident or the one at Anakin. I remember everything. That guy saved us at Anakin. If he hadn't, I don't know what would have happened to us. I believe in Mega Man. I know he's real and he's out there. And he'll always help people in trouble. Because he's a real hero. Y hero What's with you? You've been acting kind of funny ever since I mentioned him. Are you, by chance, a fan of Mega Man? <laughs> the pause in the music there was actually really good. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Ooh, I thought she was going to say something else. Hey, Geo, look out! Up there! What? Oh, Geo's dead. Oh, never mind, we're fine. That was close. All right, well, Geo, I think you should never go to school ever again. You're. This is your first time back in school after three years, and you almost died? What was that? A stage light? Geo, your visualizer. Oh, yeah. Ah! Who or what is that? It grinned at me. He grinned at us. Wait, that means... He grinned at us. All right, Geo, time to pulse in. We're fighting here? Now? I'm telling you from experience. Guys like that who pull off surprise attacks are a pain if you don't get them fast. If we let him get away now, we're going to have to be ready for surprise attacks at any time. I guess you're right. What are you mumbling to yourself about? Don't tell me it hit you on the head. Uh, I need to go to the, uh, the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. Wow, we cleaned that up really fast. That was a close call. I can't believe the light would fall like that. You're going to the bathroom? Aw, oh, did the falling light scare you? Of course it scared me, you dumb idiot! I could have died! If that light had fallen on someone, ugh, I don't want to even think about it. Go after that creep! Oh, I thought that I had to go to the waypoint outside. There's one right here. Yeah, I would have been terrified if, uh, like, four stage lights fell right next to me and almost crushed my skull. I would have been freaked out, man! I would have been panicked.
Finicky. Hello. Ah! Ah, there he is. He's just standing there, menacingly. That punk, is he trying to pick a fight? Well, he'll get his fight. He's probably heading for the foyer EM road. Yeah? I wonder what his story is. Well, let's hunt him down. We're in the school EM area for the first time. I wish I could run as fast as that car. Brave Sword? Wait, Brave Sword, isn't that like a really good card? Cut two squares forward through shields. Yeah, it seems amazing. Uh, replace... Place one of the wide swords, because long sword is better. I hate that my ground waves are all the way down here instead of up higher. But whatever. Oh yeah, also now that we have Sonya's chip, some or Sonya's card, sometimes in battle we'll get access to her card. And we can use it. It gives us like a roulette of four different cards. It's really neat. You'll see it when we get into a fight with it. Where is he? Right here. Oh, hey. Hey, ugly. You've got a lot of nerve picking a fight with us. You're Mega Man, right? Looks like we got famous all of a sudden. <laughs> this isn't funny. You're worse off than I figured you'd be bumming around inside a cheap body like that. What? Come, show me the power you use to beat all those other Ephemians down. Uh, he's big. What's going on? It's like he's suddenly changed into someone completely different. Here he comes. Jammer G. Look at all this damage I'm dealing. Oh wow, that's fast. I even stepped into it like an idiot. Nope. It did three damage. So yeah, we can click on Sonya's chip and then it gives us a roulette of four other chips. One of them, as you might have seen, was the harp note chip, which is really good. So like, that's always the ideal, getting the harp note chip. Anyways, this, this fight is scripted, as you might expect. I'm just kind of like... I don't remember what the trigger is for making it stop. I don't know if it's hitting him a certain amount of times or lasting a certain amount of time or what. I'm trying to hit him with the Mega Buster whenever I can in case it's just a certain amount of contact. Oh, there we go. I can't hit this guy at all. He's really, really strong. Ha ha ha! Is that all you've got? He's really strong. Now have a taste of my power. Take this! Ah! Yeah! Too powerful! I can't hold out! Here, have some more! So I was taking a drink of my Gatorade. Ah! A Geo. Get a hold of yourself. Ugh. Ow. I'm still alright. Right at the last second, you changed out of waveform. Talk about a close call. Hey, wait! What happened to that guy? The really tall one. Ah, oh, nothing to worry about. He's gone. What was he? It sounded like he knew who we were. Or is that just my imagination? Hey. Yes? Oh, it's another one of the best characters. 
Today's weather is pretty nice, don't you think? Days like these really warm a person's heart. I wish every day could be like today. Don't you? Huh? Well... You're Geo, right? You know me? Of course! I'm one of your classmates. I've seen your picture in the yearbooks. Really? So I knew who you were right away. So, how do you do? I'm Patrick Spriggs. Hi, uh, Patrick. Ah, just call me Pat. But isn't that kind of rude? No, it's a nickname. What's your... Hello? Look, what you call someone is important. You can be better or worse friends based on what you call that person. So... Pat. Haha. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? Every morning when attendance is taken, Mr. Shepard always calls out your name, even though he knows you're not there. But of course, no one answers back. And then I'd wonder to myself, just what kind of kid is Geo? And I'm glad you turned out to be a nice person. Yeah, you're clearly a nice person. <laughs> a nice person? I don't think so myself, but... Ha, <laughs> you're humble too. But it's not like I hate that quality. Pat. It's just a premonition, but I get the feeling things would be a lot more interesting at school if you were to come. I think we would make great friends. Friends, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Oops, look at the time. I've got to go. Well, this may be goodbye, but I hope I'll see you again. Later. That It is weird. Why is he in the yearbook if he doesn't go to class? Yeah, that pack guy seems like a nice person. And that teacher was nice, too. Ah, <sighs> school, huh? Ah! I totally forgot. I'm supposed to be looking at the set. They're probably all wondering where I went. Well, presumably they think you just took a really long bathroom break. Maybe even worryingly long. Hey, guys. Where were you? Sorry, I, uh, kind of got lost looking for the bathroom. Ah, you're so hopeless. And now it's close to dinner time. I guess we should all go home for today. Now listen up, Geo. Come to school tomorrow, okay? If you don't come, we'll be short one actor. And this set will be all for naught. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Now I can finally go to Mr. Boreal's. Oh, we're free? I just moved? Okay, I thought there'd be a cutscene. That was quite the long bathroom break. Yeah, it's none of your business. Don't make it weird. What took you? You're not worthy of making the prez wait. Listen up, Geo. Come to school tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Same dialogue. Isn't Pat a one-off character? Yeah. He technically shows up in Star Force 2, and I think he might even show up in Star Force 3, but I don't think so. I know he shows up in Star Force 2, but it's very, very brief when he shows up in 2. He's not a recurring character like Luna, Luna, Bud, Sonya... Uh, Zack, Mr. Boreal, they all show up in every game, consistently. Pat does not. He's mostly just in this game, but he's really good in this game. He's one of the best characters in Star Force 1, I would say. I mean, honestly, being one of the best characters in Star Force 1, uh, just, he's basically just like one of the best characters in the Star Force franchise. Is that person I'm thinking of here yet? The optional boss. Or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong game. Because, like, there should be a dude just chilling around here that we can talk to. And when we talk to him, he's like, Oh, I have an Ephemian that I can fuse with. You want to fight him? And then to fight him, we would have to go to the wave area to fight him. I think that's in this game, but I might be thinking of Star Force 2. Hi, Geo. Good to see you here. Please take your time and enjoy yourself. Yeah, okay, Mr. Dubious. Well, that aside, maybe you, uh, maybe it's after the next big boss you can start fighting the optional ones. I might just be thinking of the wrong Star Force game. I'm pretty sure he's in this one, though. He's gotta be. Because he's one of the Ephemians, and the uh, Ephemians, like, they're the main villains in this game. They're not the main villains in the second and third game. So, like, he's got to be in this game at some point. Hey, Geo, did something happen today? Actually, oh, 
The pendant started glowing? I thought maybe you'd know something about it. Well, I know your dad used to wear it, but I don't know much else. You don't know either, huh? But it's odd that it lit up on its own. Would you mind if I take a look at it? Uh, okay. What boss are you thinking of? I'm thinking of the crab boss. An hour later. I got it, Geo. Actually, we're about to get a really significant point in the game is about to happen. Maybe it's after that sequence you can fight the optional boss. I had to take it apart, but it turns out that this pendant is something like a transmitter. A transmitter? Then this really isn't a regular pendant. But this transmitter won't work unless something activates it first. And the thing that activates it is... A brother band. Huh? What do you mean? If this pendant is very close to where a brother band is being formed, it will pick up on that and the transmitter will turn on. And that's what causes it to glow. Why would Dad not tell anyone about it? I don't know. But it's possible that your pendant is connected to someone somewhere. But who could it be connected to? I don't know, maybe your dad? You don't think it could be my dad, do you? If it is, then I can contact him. Mr. Boreal, how do I use this? Uh, the transmitter is very old and beat up, so I don't think you can send a signal at all. Maybe if you went to a place with good reception, then maybe you can send something. A place with good reception? Yeah. If you go to the roof of this building, you might be able to get something. If you take your pendant there and wait, someone just might contact you. The roof? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Boreal. Oh, is the crab guy in the card shop? Hold up. I thought that he was in Amakin. Maybe in... No, you know what? I think I am mixing up the games. I think in Star Force 2, you find the crab guy to fight him again at Amakin. Or like at a lab. I don't, I don't know if you go specifically to Amakin, but you go to a lab area in Star Force 2. It's been a hot minute since I played. But in Star Force 1, he's at the card shop, isn't he? So I'm just remembering where he is wrong. Because I'm thinking of where he is in Star Force 2. Let's find out. Coming through, don't mind me. Just gotta check out this card shop. Is he in here? Yes, it's this guy right here. Hey you, I want you to fight me. What? What's your problem? Don't look down on me because you think I'm a kid. I can tell what you're hiding. You've got an Ephemian living with you, right? How did you know that? Hehe. <laughs> you and me were the same. I've got this Ephemian named Cancer who's been living in my transer since a while back. That means that I can wave change too. So how about a battle? Let's see, where should we hold it? Oh, I know. How about the Amakin Foyer Wave Road? I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, and then he spawns in the Amakin place. I knew it. I do not have near enough Zenny to buy this. I'm actually a little tempted to buy a Recovery 80, but I'd honestly just rather save all of my Zenny for HP memories. To be completely real with you. Alright, so now we can fight him, and he gives a pretty darn good chip, too, when you beat him. How much time do we have left in stream? We still got about 25 minutes. He can still make some good progress before wrapping up today. Bum, 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 bum. Don't mind me just passing through. Bum, bum, bum. Where is... He should be right around here, I think. Where are you at? Yeah, there he is, Cancer Bubble. Let's go beat up this stupid crab. Who's gonna be the closest wave road to use this one? I think this is gonna get us there the quickest. And I do also still wanna find the Harp Note rematch. I think it would be outside where we fought her originally, probably, somewhere around there would be my best guess. 
would be nice to get the rematch against her because her chip is really good. Or card, rather. I always say chip, dude. Which, if I would get the lucky roulette, I'd be able to show you what her chip does. Card. Words. Get him, Cygnus. Easy. Oh, whoops. There we go. All right, Cancer Bubble, let's do this. I'm going to save first, just in case. We have an undershirt now, which is super useful. I'm Cancer Bubble, Snip. Let's get to it, Snip. Wait a minute. I want to know something first. What? How did an Ephemian take control of you? Well, he probably doesn't have any friends because he's so rude and snappy. And then Cancer got to him when he was down in the dumps. Flinch. I nailed it, didn't I? Aw, oh, you're just a lonely guy. I'm very self-conscious about that. Okay, now, as they say, the gloves come off. Are you ready to feel the pinch? Let's go. I can't lose. Neither can we. Put him up. 